Russia is sending death squads to Europe. The continent is sounding the alarm. Bloomberg. From Berlin to Vilnius, governments face a growing threat of Russian-sponsored acts of sabotage and violent intimidation. Behind a series of increasingly obvious, frequent and coordinated incidents across Europe, the hand of Russian military intelligence most likely lies. Bloomberg writes about this, citing officials familiar with the matter. It is noted that in Germany, two suspects hired by Russian intelligence to attack military bases came to the country as teenagers. In Estonia, young people with criminal records were recruited via telegram to commit acts of vandalism against a minister's car and national monuments for little money. Elsewhere in Europe, government officials are being advised to take precautions to avoid increased risk of violence from Russian-backed criminals. From Berlin to Vilnius, governments face a growing threat of Russian-sponsored acts of sabotage and violent intimidation across NATO countries ahead of European Union elections. They, along with a determined campaign of disinformation, are designed to test the strength of support for Ukraine on the continent. The brazenness of the Kremlin-sanctioned actions years after the Salisbury poisoning, which Britain says was likely ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin, and the Tiergarten murders in Berlin led one senior official to conclude that Moscow no longer cares that she could be caught committing hostile acts and has moved from more subtle forms of covert espionage to outright brutality against Western targets, the newspaper writes. Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski recently said that Russia has been sending death squads to Europe for many years. We had a terrorist recruited by Russia who tried to carry out a terrorist attack in Poland a couple of months ago, and I'm sure they are trying to do this in other countries, he said. In their aggressiveness, methods and scale, the Russian-backed attacks pose a new threat from the Kremlin, and officials say the recent spate of attacks have a common thread. They often involve locals hired largely through internet intermediaries to strike targets in the West or performing other harmful tasks on Moscow's orders, the publication writes. According to one of the officials, it is very likely that this strategy, directed against all of Europe, was approved at the highest level in Moscow. Many members of Europe are more resolute about Russian aggression than other countries. Let us note that recently the Financial Times, citing European intelligence services, stated that the Russian Federation is plotting acts of violence and sabotage across the continent. Shoigu's failure in Africa makes Putin blush. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu is in big trouble. The head of the Kremlin, Vladimir Putin, has serious claims to him because of Africa. This was reported by the Russian Vichik OGPU, Telegram channel which is connected with the Russian security services. One of the most sensitive for the state failures of Sergei Shoigu as Defense Minister is the African Corps project, the resource reported. According to it, Shoigu was tasked with strengthening Russia's military presence in Africa through Russian private military companies. He failed to cope with it. The core eagerly awaited by many local leaders actually existed only on paper, and the colossal budgets allocated to its realization went into the pocket of Novatech head Gennady Timchenko and functionaries of the Ministry of Defense affiliated with him, the Russian Telegram channel said. He specified that a number of dictators in Africa were very happy to get Russian at their disposal. However, when trying to put it on paper, they got bogged down in bureaucratic costs. The highest authorities had to blush for the African core because the contingent was promised, but in the end it did not materialize. As a result of the actions of Timchenko and various managers in the Russian Defense Ministry who brought the country to the point where it almost lost a key region for itself, while significantly weakening its previously gained positions, the Russian resource reported. Recently, Vladimir Putin met with Tula Oblast governor and known Wagner Group affiliate Alexei Dumin, further indicating that Putin may be seeking to reduce Sergei Shoigu's power by balancing him with rivals. Putin likely deliberately publicized his meeting with Dumin following the high-profile arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov on the 24th of April. India arrests people recruiting mercenaries for Russian army in war against Ukraine. Indian authorities have arrested four individuals involved in recruiting mercenaries to send them to war against Ukraine, according to Reuters. 
The arrested individuals who worked as translators assisted prospective mercenaries in obtaining visas and booking airline tickets. Law enforcement assures that investigations are ongoing regarding other accused individuals who are part of an international human trafficking network. In March, it was reported that approximately 35 Indian citizens were deceived into traveling to Russia for participation in the conflict against Ukraine. According to Reuters, the families of two deceased Indian citizens who fought on the side of Russia claimed that their husbands intended to work in the Russian army as assistants. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs stated that each case has been actively discussed with Russia. Russia is actively recruiting individuals for the war against Ukraine, but it faces a shortage of manpower, hence resorting to hiring mercenaries from various countries, offering them money and citizenship. In February, India appealed to Russia for the early release of some of its citizens who were working in the Russian army in auxiliary positions. In March, Al Jazeera reported that the Russian Federation had recruited citizens of Sri Lanka for the war against Ukraine, with some already being casualties. Russia promised citizens of Sri Lanka that they would be involved in bunker duty. However, the Ukrainian military managed to hit the bunker where the mercenaries were stationed. At present, hundreds of citizens of Sri Lanka are fighting on the side of Russia against Ukraine. Most of them joined the war for a salary of $3,000 and the prospect of obtaining Russian citizenship. It has also been established that some of the mercenaries have already been killed. Recently, Ukraine's main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense reported that mercenaries from Nepal, who arrived to fight against Ukraine within the ranks of the Russian army, are deserting en masse.